Here is uh, James Comey. Well, there's reaction to, um, do we have actually Comey saying this? Okay, let's start with uh, James Comey saying that Trump is mentally fit to, um, to serve. You know, I mean, frankly, well, all right, let's just play this clip because, I don't know, people are talking about it. You write that President Trump is unethical, untethered to the truth. Is Donald Trump unfit to be president? Yes, but not in the way I often hear people talk about it. I don't buy the stuff about him being mentally incompetent or early stages of dementia. He strikes me as a person of above average intelligence who's tracking conversations and knows what's going on. I don't think he's medically unfit to be president. I think he's morally unfit to be president. You know, this is... I, I, I mean, I find it sort of gross. Like, first of all, I don't know who James Comey is to determine what the, the moral qualifications for president are, but I imagine they're significantly lower in their uh, requirements than I think many other people might have. You know, this is a guy who, on top of, you know, sitting apart, uh, sitting atop a, a DOJ that, you know, sent the Fort Dix Five uh, to prison for no reason. Uh, well, for, for being Muslim. Politically, yeah. Um, this is a guy who oversaw uh, all sorts of of, uh, of dubious um, uh, surveillance and and whatnot, um, and I'm sorry, uh, I don't. Uh, that is, in terms of uh, of James Comey assessments, I don't need to hear what he thinks is morally um, uh, fit. I mean, he, if I remember correctly, served in the DOJ under a president who uh, launched a war of choice and killed hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians. And I just don't recall him he complaining never got about peed the on. morals about that. Never got peed on, though. He wasn't... He's, he, I don't want to say morally. I want to say he wasn't... He's not classy enough to be president. <laughs> just not classy. Just not... He probably knows some stuff that we don't. That the uh, that uh, you're saying that um, that Comey does. Yeah, it's possible. But I frankly got no problem with someone getting peed on uh, as much as I do with them launching a, a war of choice and killing uh, hundreds of thousands of civilians. Well, if certainly. George Bush uh, rang me up and said, "Which would you prefer? Which would you? Which where? Gotta, where would I maintain do the my impression more? for that one? Definitely got to do the impression. But, hey, hey, yeah. Sam, I got a question for you. Got a, I got a choice. I uh, could uh, I get peed on or I could launch a war choice. Uh, which one uh, would make me a better person? Your either eyes? way, getting back tell to my me, dad. Tell me which one. Because uh, either way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to record it and just show it to my mom. Jeff so, get uh, peed on regardless. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have the mind of James Comey. God bless me. No, I don't. You're not, you're not the type of guy who's like, you know, I really read this David Brooks column and it really has me thinking about right, exactly. Stoics. Oh, my God. If that was you, you'd need to be thrown out of a window. Well, so there's James Comey uh, basically saying, well, not basically saying, saying that Donald Trump is morally unfit to serve as president um, because, I guess, you get peed on, you really don't have the ability to uh, launch a war against somebody or spy on them. I don't know. I don't know exactly what that means. But it's not like Donald Trump uh, doesn't have his defenders. And, you know, uh, as we're reminded by the folks over at Fox and Friends, Donald Trump's not the only person who liked to get peed on. Feels, uh, the president of the United States possibly obstructed justice. But here's the soundbite that everybody's playing today. James Comey does not like Donald Trump and feels he is morally unfit to be our commander in chief. Is Donald Trump unfit to be president? Yes, but not in the way I often hear people talk about it. I don't buy the stuff about him being mentally incompetent or early stages of dementia. He strikes me as a person of above average intelligence who's tracking conversations and knows what's going on. I don't think he's medically unfit to be president. I think he's morally unfit <laughs> to be they, president. They, I just got to say, if you're just listening, they, they, they run a clip, Fox and Friends runs a clip of Trump 
looking around the room as people are talking and shaking his head, which is actually, I think, they could have used as evidence that he is mentally unfit. And no, he is that's called the tracking, tracking information. Uh, my You're head is bouncing up and I'm down like I'm literally tracking to information. what they're saying. Go ahead. I'm literally tracking information. Person of above average intelligence who's tracking conversations and knows what's going on. I don't think he's medically unfit to be president. I think he's morally unfit to be president. A person who sees moral equivalence in Charlottesville, who talks about and treats women like they're pieces of meat, who lies constantly about matters big and small and insists the American people believe it, that person's not fit to be president of the United States on moral grounds. Our president must embody respect and adhere to the values that are at the core of this country. The most important being truth. This president is not able to do that. He is morally unfit to be president. This president does not reflect the values of this country. Right, uh, of course, uh, coming up a little bit later on CNN, the Kennedys, where every right. other day right. there was a something ill moral going on. Bill and Bill Clinton. Clinton. Ill moral? Bill Clinton, right. lying. Uh, FDR. I mean, there are people that are less than perfect that occupied the Oval Office and were effective leaders. Not many people can be as perfect as him. Right. Well, this is what I gathered from it, that I, I felt like everything he said is information we already knew, except for the fact they put up pictures of his wife and his daughters marching in the Women's March. Mm -hmm. They showed a clip of his wife being interviewed in a previous interview right after the election, saying that she was so upset that Hillary Clinton didn't win. So I understand he was registered as a Republican at one point, then right. an independent. He didn't vote. He did say he didn't vote in this election. But you could tell he has disdain for this president. Sure. Uh, but that sound by, uh, that we just played about uh, he feels that Donald Trump is morally unfit. Uh, I got an email from somebody who used to work at the Department of Justice who said that any time James Comey, when he was FBI director, disagreed with one of the DOJ lawyers, uh, he would say, your moral compass is askew. So that more, it's all about moral clarity, the moral compass, or in this case, moral morally unfit, but the last thing it would be is political. You know, um, I, I, it's so great to hear uh, the Fox and Friends people complain about the, the abuse of the notion of morality in politics, right? I mean, I have to admit, I could, I could actually picture JFK being like, Jesus Christ, James Comey, what a Boy Scout. <laughs> he has no idea how the world works. I know. It, Maybe I, he should have I mean, gotten I, a hand job when he was a Boy Scout. Maybe he'd be a little bit more goddamn fun. I, I honestly think that JFK morality at James Comey. Morality as a measure of whether or not someone is um, a legitimate president seems to be the silliest measure. But frankly, I think. But I I, I agree uh, with you. American. I agree, but I think there's something really here actually about a certain slice of whatever I don't know the word establishments overused, but how a certain class of people that occupy elite positions actually conceive of like ethics in their position in the of world. Of course. Like, it's super revealing of professional training. But it's not ethics necessarily. No, I'm saying the word they would use. I wouldn't call yes. it ethics. It it's is kind of performance. It is decorum. Yeah. At decorum. It is, you know, are you one of us? Like this is the most sympathetic that I couldn't feel more sympathy with Donald Trump but for a line of attack like that. Now I have to say that despite that, I don't feel any sympathy to Donald Trump. But uh, I, that to me is like particularly just sort of like, are you serious? Well, the, and he is exceptionally disgusting. I mean, all these things been, are true. So we've been talking about all along with the hashtag resistance and the never Trumpers. Like, I don't even want to look at donut Twitter right now because I'm sure they're all yay rock homie. Welcome to the resistance. Like, wait, what's donut Twitter? Oh, um, I would say it's like the 8% of Democrats who still hate Bernie Sanders. Sort of like a like, why they, donut Twitter? They, oh God, this is like almost too stupid to explain to you, but it really I will. Is. It really they, is. This they is were so mocking stupid. Nina Turner for being annoyed that the DNC like bought her off with donuts. Oh. didn't let her in, and just they're like, oh, here's some donuts oh, and a gosh. pat on the head. Just dumb interview, but but yeah, I mean they're incredibly stupid. These are like the type of people who are just like, now's the time to support Andrew Cuomo. Too much is at stake. <laughs> like yeah. these are people are 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 very 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 stupid. They're um, a vocal minority. But unless, but maybe that actually there's a, here's a door to James Comey actually being cool. That he's just like, 
I think there's an opportunity to make stupid money off of emotional rejects who are still obsessed <laughs> with Hillary Clinton. Check this out. Yeah, I, res- I respect that hustle. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if he's on the Hillary, if he's on like the dead ender Hillary hustle, then total props and respect. And I take back all the JFK lines.